Hello friends, the question is like this. Evaluate the given definite integral as the limit of sum. And the and we have to evaluate this definite integral x plus e to the power of 2x dx from the limit 0 to 4. Okay. Now, to solve this integral, first of all, on taking the integral, we are first of all going to apply this formula of definite integral as the limit of sum. Okay. And in this formula, the if the lower limit is a, we get f a plus f of a plus h and so on up to f of a plus n minus 1 into h as the sum. Okay. So, because the lower limit here is 0, so on applying this formula, I'm going to get this definite integral as equal to limit of h tend to 0 h times f of 0 plus f of 0 plus h and so on up to f of 0 plus n minus 1 into h. Okay, and because the upper limit is 4, so I get n is equal to 4 minus 0 upon h or n h is equal to 4. Okay, so the first part in this question is this that we have to calculate the sum. Okay, we have to calculate the total of all these terms. Okay, so as we are given fx, fx is equal to x plus e to the power of 2x. So this means that f of 0 will be equal to 0 plus e to the power of 2 into 0, that is 0. Okay, f of 0 plus h would be equal to 0 plus h plus e to the power of 2h and f of 0 plus 2h is equal to 0 plus 2h into e to the power of 2 into 2h and so on up to the last term that is f of 0 plus n minus 1 into h which is equal to 0 plus n minus 1 into h plus e to the power of 2 into n minus 1 into h. Here I'm going to write h. So we are going to get the total of f of 0 plus f of 0 plus h, f of 0 plus 2h and so on up to the last term as equal to h plus 2h and so on up to n minus 1 into h plus e to the power of 0 plus e to the power of 2h plus e to the power of 2 into 2h and so on up to e to the power of 2 into n minus 1 into h. Okay. Now, the next thing what is to be done is to calculation is to calculate the sum of these uh, terms. Okay. So, to calculate the sum, uh, I take first h plus 2h and so on up to n minus 1 into h. From here, I can take h as common. So I'm going to get 1 plus 2 and so on up to n minus 1. The sum of this series is given by 1 plus 2 up to n minus 1 is equal to n into n minus 1 upon 2. So I get this as equal to h times n into n minus 1 upon 2. Okay, so here this is how I calculate the sum. And this series e to the power of 0, e to the power of 2h, e to the power of 2 into 2h and so on up to e to the power of 2 into n minus 1 into h. This is a geometrical progression. Why? Because you take this term and the term before it, divide, it by, uh, divide them, you are going to get e to the power of 2h. This term upon this term, you are going to get e to the power of 2h and so on. So this is a geometrical progression. Okay. So this I write as equal to 1. And on simplifying the powers, I can get the terms like this. Okay. Now. The sum of GP is given by A times R to the power of N minus 1 upon R minus 1. So applying this formula, there are N terms in this, in this uh, total or the series. So this can be written as E to the power of 2H whole to the power of N because common ratio is E to the power of 2H minus 1 upon E to the power of 2H minus 1. Okay, so therefore, 
this the the total f of zero plus f of zero plus two h and up to the last term is equal to h plus two h and so on plus e to the power of zero plus e to the power of two h and so on is equal to h times n into n plus one upon two plus e to the power of two n h these two powers multiply two h and n so I get e to the power of two n h minus one upon e to the power of two h minus one. Okay, so this value I'm going to place for this in the definite integral. So I get the definite integral as equal to limit of h tend to zero h times n into n minus one upon two plus e to the power of two uh, n h minus one upon e to the power of 2h minus 1. Now what we are going to do, first of all we have to take the limit of this value. Okay, now to take the limit, we can't take the limit right now because we have two variables n and h. So I have to remove one of the variable either n or h so I'm going to remove the variable n here because n tends to infinity. Okay, so First thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply h in this bracket to obtain the terms like this. Okay, this n into h is written together, this h multiplies inside the bracket and this h is written here. Okay, when it is going to multiply with this. Further what I'm going to do, I'm going to arrange these terms. Why? Because the denominator and h is going to be converted into a form of a formula. Okay, so I take this as e to the power of 2 n h minus 1 upon 1 into h upon e to the power of 2 h minus 1. And next thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply and divide this expression by 2. Why? Because I want that here if it is 2 to the power of e to the power of 2h so I should also get 2h here so that it becomes in the form of a, a valid formula okay so this 2h is written in the denominator and and this terms can be read as e to the power of 2h minus 1 upon 2h and we can apply this formula right now e, limit of x tend to 0 e to the power of x minus 1 upon x is equal to 1. So here if it is 2x, so e to the power of 2x, so I should have 2x in the denominator. So same thing I have done. e to the power of 2h minus 1 upon 2h, limit of h tend to 0, this will be equal to 1. And next, what I have done, I have replaced nh as equal to 4. So where there was nh, I have replaced 4. So I do not have any issue regarding n. Okay. So in next step, I'm going to take the limit h tends to 0. I've replaced nh as equal to 4. I get this as equal to 4 times 4 minus, uh, that is placing h is equal to 0. I get 4 times 4 minus 0 upon 2 plus e to the power of 2 into 4 minus 1 upon 1 into 1 for this value into 1 upon 2. Okay, this is 16 upon 2, 8. And this is e to the power of 8 minus 1 upon 2. Okay, and on totaling, this will, this will become 16. On taking LCM, minus 1, this is going to become 15. So I go, I'm going to get e to the power of 8 plus 15 upon 2, which is my required answer. Okay, so this is how I'm going to solve this question. To watch more of these super videos and for the latest update, subscribe and like the videos on these YouTube channels, HSK Shiksha, and Maths Help by HSK. Thank you.